Before we begin our turkey telethon, we wanted to highlight the work of food pantries across the state. Connor Magliozzi brings us to Burlington, where people have been working to help keep their neighbors fed. The first thing you may notice about the Burlington Food Pantry is the line. Then you might notice the small army of volunteers keeping it moving. So we have about 40 volunteers who work really, really hard <laughs> to do this job. The job at hand is feeding the community around them. Today, everyone's getting about 160 pounds of food. That's fresh produce, frozen meat, dry good goods. And it's available to anyone who needs it. We don't ask any qualifying questions like income or anything like that. Just if we can help you with food, please come. Don't look at it as, as a handout, but rather a hand up. And it doesn't matter who you are. As long as you want to help, they'll find a job for you. Sometimes it can get hard, but working together as a team, it, it, it's easy. Helping the older people. It makes me feel good because they don't have to travel or if they're hurt really bad, they don't have to travel. The work the pantry does certainly saves people a lot of money. We'll give you food so maybe you can buy gas or pay your fuel bill. It's getting cold this winter. So we're here to help you. But one could argue that its impact is priceless. To just be able to make a difference. This is, this is a basic human need for all of us is just good food. So people don't line up here because they don't have anything else to do. They line up because we have good food to give them. And if we can help people with a basic human need, does it get any better than that? Connor Magliozzi, WBI, TV5 News, Burlington.